disclaimer, you know, okay. and, and I, I have to add this. A lot of the sites are saying that this is for entertainment purposes. I don't think it's for, I don't do it as entertainment. Okay. Right. Not, right. not the information that I bring you. That's not my entertainment. The way I bring it to you, and that's where the entertainment comes in. I will soften your blow. Now, if you get a card that says um, health, uh, then I'm going to say, you know, come on now. You, you already know that your health ain't the best, so you need to pay more attention to your health. You know, the cards are just saying that that should be a priority. But as far as, you know, telling somebody they got six months to live and that kind of stuff, we, we're not – ethnically allowed to do that. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. Hmm. But go see your doctor. <laughs> go see the doctor. Right. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, now I got a question for you and Cheeky. Do, working with an individual and, and, and you pulling their cards, have either one of you all ever got a, a, a vibe from the cards that related to you when you're working with somebody else? Uh, most definitely. A lot of times my cards, when I'm working with other people, my cards, my guides, my whisperer, that's the name I call my guide. His name is the whisperer because he's always whispering from afar. But um, every now and then he'll sneak a message in for me, myself, and I. Okay. Cheeky, it works like that for you yeah. also? <laughs> but, I mean, you know, that, that's something. Now, sis, can you explain to everybody the difference between a light worker and a worker that don't deal with the light issues? Now, now when, you, when you use the words light worker, are you saying? No, you know, people, you know, like, you know, dealing with, I know there, you got good and bad and everything. So, yes. from my understanding, the, the light workers deal with the positiveness of things, of the astral. They should. Right. So, then you got people that deal with the dark side of it. And there is a dark side. Is there, is there a certain I name for the ones that deal with the dark side of it? That you know of? I, I, was, I was about to say witches, but I can't even say witches because um, if, if you if you go back and research the word witch, it, it basically means doctor, uh, knowledgeable one, witch doctor, um, someone who brings wisdom. So I can't even call them witches because uh, Cheeky is a witch. He, he calls himself a witch proudly, so I can't even say that. And, and I know that he works for the light. But we have people who do work uh, the dark side, the one who deal in um, black magic. And like I said, it's, it's all about intention. I don't ever want to be confused with a, uh, a dark worker, you know, okay. but there are dark workers. There, there really is. There's good and bad. Like you said, there's, there's light and darkness. And there are people who love the dark side. And I am not one of them. Hmm. Wow. That's, you know, that, that, that's something, you know, I, I guess it's just like everyday life, you got good and bad. So, you, I, I mean, it's almost common sense not to have a bad side. So, I mean, right. There, there is definitely a bad side. Yes. <laughs> wow. That, that's something. That is and really karma is real. Karma is real. Whatever you put out there, it really does come back to you and, um, Ever since I, I decided that I would go on and call myself a psychic because that's the realm in which I work, um, I've always said I work for the light. I work for the light. Um, but there are people who, who come to me, Christians, Bible thumpers, who say that I'm, I'm practicing witchcraft and, you know, I'm going to hell and this, that, and the other. And it's like, how the hell am I going to hell for trying to fix people's lives? Right. Tell it. Right. Got to make sense. It's got to make sense. Now, sis, do, do you or either Cheeky know 
it, uh, the word alchemy, does it have any, any relation to what you all do? You said alchemy? Uh-huh. Which, okay, alchemy, as I understand it, is just events that take place that lead up to each other. Is, is that the same alchemy? I think I, it has something to do with, give you an example, um, uh, what was his name? Uh, Merlin was an alchemist. The wizard Merlin, supposedly. Uh huh. Merlin, yeah. Yeah, that dealt with the the herbs and and the, the other stuff. Is it uh-huh. is is that any correlation to dealing with what what you all do that you know of? Okay, I will say for me, I limit <laughs> I limit my gift. Like I said, cheeky is my mentor. Even though he is younger than I am, he's been doing this a lot longer than I have. Uh, he, he, he is a wizard. Honestly, he's a witch, he's a wizard, and he's all good. I can say that because I don't, I don't roll with anything bad. So he, he opens himself up to all kinds of stuff um, for the good. Me, right. I'm limited. I got my cards. I got my pendulum. I got my whisperer, you know, to my to my right. Um, but ask, yeah, you could ask Cheeky those questions because he he would be considered a wizard. Oh, okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's that's something. Uh, he lives in the UK, so you know it's. It, listen, I'm just a little country black girl, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, he is he is more uh, schooled, learned than I am um, in 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 the the dealings of all of this stuff. Okay, okay. So when when you when you sum it all up, the question I like to know: Who is the Red Hawk? Oh my God! How long do we got? <laughs> 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 no, seriously, every day I'm learning something new about myself. I mean, you know, life is all about growing from 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 plane to plane to to high rise to high rise. Um, today, the Red Hawk is just a, a someone who who loves everyone, who wants the best for everyone, who wants to use her gift, um, her talents, her wisdom, her knowledge um, to 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 you know, contribute to the world, the, the lighter part of the world. There's so much darkness. I, I just want to contribute to the light. Okay. That, that, that'll that work. Now, here, here's a question for you and Cheeky. Um, I, I, I don't know if, you know, doing what you're doing, you know, dealing with the, the light and different things of that, 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 of that spectrum. Do you all get vibes from other realms or uh, other people that's nowhere close to you? I think this is what I'm trying to ask. What do you mean nowhere close to us? Like from a distance? Right, right. Well, for me, working online is as distant as, as you can get. I mean, I work with people from all around the world. All right. So um, and and I do pick up vibes and and the way I pick up my vibes is their energy is displayed upon what they type. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, I, I can pick up a vibe just by how somebody approaches me. Okay. Now, is is that the same truth? Like, just say, for instance, you at the mall and you walk past somebody. Does it work? You pick up a vibe from an individual that way? I probably could if if I was paying attention. Okay. But see, I don't I don't even go to the mall, and that's another that's another thing. <laughs> it's just so much. It's just so much out there. It is so much out there that I don't even um, open myself to be uh, privy to the different vibes out there. It's a, it's a lot of negative vibes out there. I am so safe 
in, in, in my little home office here doing my work, you know, behind this computer. But, yeah, I mean, I guess if I was out there amongst, I probably would pick up vibes. I probably would, and that's probably why I don't right. go out as much as I should or, or would. Not, not for, for, for you, you and Cheeky. When, when you're working with an individual and, and they have nothing but negativity, you know, in their vibes, do you continue to deal with that person? And, and I try, sure do. And, and try to help them get that negativity uh, mindset out of their mind? I, I, I do. Um, I have what was given to me back in 2013 called the Red Hawk Energy Cleansing Release Affirmation. And I like to start my sessions with that so that we can get rid of whatever is on them at the time and so that they could be open to receiving, you know, the information that I have for them. Okay. And it's called lifting up their, their vibrations. And so if they come to me and they're negative and they have a lot of, you know, chaos uh, in their in their world, I like to start off with that so we can at least, you know, start off on an even playing field. Right. But I even have a chance to lift them up out of their mess. Right. Right. Now, um, <clears throat> you just said vibrations. And I, I know our bodies works off vibration, gives off vibrations. And I know for a fact that there's different crystals that helps resonate your body back into, so for alignment or, yeah, alignment. Let's go with that. So is yeah, there any particular important. crystals that you recommend or uh, uh, that you can suggest that people could use, like, say maybe... F- to, to take negativity out of their home. Is there a certain crystal that people can use for that? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check with Cheeky, but I, I believe it's the um, rose quartz. You know, that's supposed to bring sereneness called the rose quartz. Okay, rose quartz. Um, we also use the amethyst. You know, one is, one is rosy uh, pink. The other one is purpley. Okay. So those are the first uh, crystals that I got, you know, when I, when I first started. You know, you got to ground yourself. So, yeah, the rose quartz and the amethyst. But there is all kinds of crystals that do all kinds of things. Okay. I mean, as a matter of fact, I bought, I think, about eight or nine of them, a uh, collection of crystals to uh, help my son. He's ADHD. You know, he spazzes out. You know, his energy is all over the place. I actually went and bought him a whole bunch of little crystals in a little bag, told him to carry them with him, you know, with the intention of keeping him balanced. Right. So, yeah. So did it help? It helped as long as he was carrying it. But, you know, they're not like me. Right. <laughs> you know, they like, okay, mom, I'll do this. But religiously, no, he did not carry it. But, um, yeah, but that's what I did. Instead of, you know, putting him on medication and all that jazz, I just bought him uh, a handful of crystals and told him to, you know, carry them with the intention of keeping himself balanced. Oh, okay. Now, I know, I know you say you got him a bunch of little crystals. Uh, is there a certain size crystal? Uh, I, I don't know how that works. But is, is maybe a... Um, the size of I don't know, but anyway, uh, is there a certain size it crystal? Be it huh? ain't got to be bigger. No, you, you're you're thinking bigger is better. It does not have to be bigger. I okay. mean, just the just having the crystal, whatever size it was, the intention behind it. Your intention gives that little pebble or big rock its uh, power. Okay. So now, does those, those crystals? I read somewhere that they, they have to be charged, and it, it says something about um, they need direct sunlight in order to, to, to receive the energy from the sun. I'll put it this way: in its natural state, it does what it does. I mean, it, it comes activated. It the the power can dull, and yes, you are supposed to recharge it. 
but it comes activated. It's it's from the earth, you know. It it comes activated.